Hi and welcome to 50 feet below. Uh, on this episode of uh, Scuba Advice, we're gonna give you four easy steps to pick the best mask when you're ready to buy one. Um, the most important thing when you're picking out a new scuba mask is the fit. Uh, you don't want your mask to leak or get uncomfortable during your dive. So fit is most important and trumps all other things. So um, later on you're gonna look at the color and stuff like that, but fit is the most important. Um, the easiest way to fit a mask is when you put it on your face, put a strap in front of it and inhale through your nose and the mask should suck on to your face and no excess air should come in on any of the edges. Just like that. Also one, what you want to keep in mind is that you have some room right here um, because you need to put a regulator in and it will push your lip a little bit up. And also the side of the mask shouldn't touch your hairline because hair always lets water in. Once you found several masks that fit, um, it's time to determine if you want um, black silicon or clear silicon. And there are a couple of differences to keep in mind. First of all, black silicon works a little bit like sunglasses, so it's easier on the eyes. Um, also, um, it prevents seeing your own eyes in the glass when you dive in really clear waters. And also the black silicon doesn't change color. Um, transparent, on the other hand, does. It becomes sort of brownish, like you're smoking in your mask, and there's nothing you can do about it, so it will happen. Um, an upside for transparent silicon is the fact you have a more open feeling, more lights come, it's coming into the mask, and this will give you a more open feeling. And like I told before, it is possible that you can see your own eyes in clear water um, in, in the glass of the mask. So that's something to keep in mind if you're diving in clear waters. Next up are the lenses, and this is your view onto the on the water world, so they're pretty important. Um, you actually got two options, a single lens design with one piece of glass or a double lens design. And it used to be that a single lens would give you more of a field of vision. Uh, that's not long, uh, no longer the case. Uh, both are fine. The only thing which is missing in a double lens mask is the little piece between your nose. And as you can test, you can't actually see it. So it, it doesn't really matter. Um, one thing to keep in mind is the fact that um, a double lens design could make it possible to put, put prescription lenses in it. Um, there are standard lenses which are available like with the X-Vision or the Review X2. Um, and with a single lens design you can't put prescription lenses in it. It's better to keep that in mind when you're wearing uh, a glasses or contacts when you're picking a mask. Uh, next thing to keep in mind is the volume of your mask. Nowadays it becomes more and more popular to make low volume masks. And this has two benefits. First of all, when you get water into your mask, it's easier to blow it out. And secondly, your eyes are closer to the lens and this makes you see less of the rim and more through the lens and more of the underwater world. There's also a downside and this is that you have to equalize your mask a little bit more because there's less air inside the mask so the pressure has more effect on it. A bonus tip um, when you want to increase your comfort it's nice to have a comfort neoprene strap this goes over your silicone strap and it's really nice to put on your mask and take it off especially when you have long hair um, and also talking about long hair there are special women's masks and they have special clips which can tangle your hair so maybe want to watch out for one of those. Hey, thank you for watching. Um, if you like this video, drop a like down below. And for more videos, subscribe to our channel. We also got a website, which is 50feetbelow.com. Um, down below, there are some links to affiliate Amazon masks, which we have selected for you. If you buy one, you support the channel as well. So thank you for watching and see you on the next one.